Here to start off action for us this week on the Reality Arrest in the boat, Brad Gilmore, joined by Kirby Carrion and Miss Carolina T. Hey, you guys look bad for today. Oh, we, you look lovely per usual, and the Rocket looks to have his game face on tonight, Kirby. He is looking towards Summer of Champions, wants to make a gigantic impact, and tonight he faces a familiar foe in the form of Semsei. Simsai, Simsei, excuse me, is coming down to the ring right now to face against Josiah Jean. What do we know about Simsai? Well, he's from Chicago, Illinois, and Rocket is already looking to surpass him, trying to get into the stratosphere, but Simsei told me earlier that he's going to make sure he gets stopped in Chirac in the ring tonight. Well, right now, man, I mean, right now, he looks good. I've not seen Simsei before. Kirby, carry on. I know you've been able to see him in action in person. And is he as good as advertised? You ever heard the phrase freak athlete? Yes. This guy is not just a freak athlete. He actually trained himself to be further than a freak athlete. He conquers the lands that he visits, and he always learns from all the masters where he goes. You know, my wife calls me freak athlete. I'm happy for your wife. Oh, she's, she's nice. She is. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are about to get action started as the Rocket and Simsei. Collar and elbow tie up there in the middle. Simsei is no joke. He's actually been on American Ninja Warrior. This dude is actually a freak athlete, just like you, Brad. Uh, the past four years, he's been a semifinalist. So Josiah John's got a lot cut out for him tonight. Well, when you talk about a competition like Ninja Warrior, I mean, the, the shape that these athletes have to be in to compete in those different obstacle courses and challenges really would lend itself well to pro wrestling, I would feel. Definitely, you've got to be able to adapt to any kind of challenge. You've got to have the balance like nobody else. You've got to have the strength like nobody else. And right now, it looks like Sensei was about oh, to one. sneak out a victory. Both these men only a cover of one, but we can't look past Josiah Jean, the rocket. Hasn't been the best year of his career thus far. And Josiah continues to try to battle back and get his head in the right space. I think this is the perfect uh, match for him to sharpen himself and sharpen his tools. I mean, they, this is their rematch from the last show at Breakout. And the fans at Reality of Wrestling were so excited that Row Nation demanded this official rematch, and this is what you get tonight. Right. I mean, this has happened at a Breakout event, the non-televised events that we have here at Reality Wrestling. So, Simsei, not unused to the Walker, Texas Lawyer Arena, but still is different when the Row Nation is here and here in full force. Absolutely, and, and Simsei drove all the way down from Chicago to come here to Reality Wrestling to go up against the best of uh, Right now, Josiah Jean, though, getting, trying to find his way into this match, really getting control. Josiah is the bigger, stronger one, two of the two, and we have found out that Josiah Jean has officially declared himself in the king of the Summer Battle Royal, which has become a tradition at the Summer of Champions. Well, we have seen what uh, similar to Battle Royals have done for other people in the past. It's how Rudy Garza got his start before he became one of the most renowned television champions that we have seen here in reality of wrestling. And another name to add to the list, Dylan Fleer, who is now one of the Nature Boys who are aligned with the road champion at Stone. Right, you know, putting yourself in a good position. Oh, look at that. Big chop to the chest from Simsei. Josiah Jean trying to find a way back in here. And again, as we talked about, not been the best year for the Rocket. Do you feel, Carolina, that a win here will put him in the right trajectory to you know, try to make it off this planet, if you will? Absolutely. I mean, he, his goal is to be out of the stratosphere, want to be one of the greatest here at Reality of Wrestling. He said even though he struggled this year, his drive is to be a student of the game, be respectful to everybody around him, but he wants to make it known. He wants to be the greatest. Oh, wow. And look at that. Now, at a certain point, you do have to wonder, was his first year actually just beginner's luck? It's a, it's a solid question. A lot of the times you can find yourself on a hot streak. You know, when you talk about a hot hand in basketball, somebody can go, you know, 10 for 10 from three, and then the next night not hit a single one. Absolutely. Even in the sport of football, you look at Dak Prescott's rookie year. He was phenomenal, and then he had the sophomore slump. Just I could be, you know, possibly facing the exact same type of challenge. That's an ex excellent point. Is it the sophomore slump of the Rocket? He tried to cover him, the referee. Not in position right there. He's telling him to watch out for the closed fists. 
Now those open palm thrust to the forehead. He that is something that you don't see often. Cover here, one, two, and a kick out by the Rocket. He learned that all the way over in Japan, learning from Master Chan. And we know that he's come from Chicago where he learned from Master Lee. And now he's here in Houston trying to learn from Master T. <laughs> We've seen a lot of his technicalities. He said, and he said about himself, that he's very strategic, very technical, loves using a striking base, and we've seen a lot of that right now tonight. Well, right now, Simsei is trying to wear down Rocket. He knows that Rocket is just as great of an athlete as perhaps he might be as well. So he knows if I can slow him down and not allow him to get going, this could be it in a big belly-to-belly -belly overhead suplex. Ujo's on around like it was nothing. Oh my gosh, I mean, this rocket, is it really ready for liftoff right now? Because right now we're all on the ground. <laughs> yeah, ground control to Major Tom, cover here. <laughs> oh, both shoulders down, one, two. Referee, of course, having to check to make sure both shoulders are flat on the mat. That's how you get a pinfall here at Reality Wrestling. I'm very impressed right now by Sensei. He is bringing a completely different strategy than he did at that breakout event. The last time these two faced off, Josiah John was able to pretty much handle the situation. But today, it seems like Sensei came prepared. And it just shows how well he does train for all types of different challenges and learns from them. And his groundwork is actually pretty impressive. Oh, Fishman's hook suplex cover. One, two, could that be all? You were saying, Caroline? Great recovery by Josiah. Papa Rocket is actually here in the building tonight. He comes to every single one of his shows to support him. And I thought Houston had a problem, but it seems like he's getting his foot back on. You know what, though? I, to me, I wonder if, of course, Josiah John, hometown boy here, cover now. One, two, hometown boy. But you almost wonder if that puts on an added amount of pressure for him to have your folks, have your family in the crowd, knowing that you haven't been doing your absolute best. Does that even add a little, little layer of pressure there? I like to think so, you know, whenever the first time that I was back here, I thought I was going to stumble all over my words when I was watching at Summer of Champions. And, you know, Josiah, to have them here every single time, that has to add more pressure. Absolutely, but right now, both these men in a precarious position on that second rope. What is Josiah thinking? He's not wanting to take too many high-risk maneuvers, but now Simsei able to fight off. I mean, this is like a, a true ninja elf oh. in every sense of the word. I mean, Josiah has everything cut out for him tonight. You definitely don't oh. want to. That might have opened up some daylight, but no. Simsei finding a way if both these men are down in the middle of the ring, laying it all out here as we are just mere weeks away from the biggest event in row history, Summer of Champions 10. Josiah Jean and Simsei both want to find a way into Summer of Champions, as does Promise Braxton. That is our main event later tonight. If Promise Braxton can get the dub, she stamps it. She will get a championship match at the Summer of Champions and beat out GG Ray. And both these men back up to a vertical base here. Row Nation, this has been an incredible match so far. Oh. Both these men laying it all out on the line. I mean, Josiah Jean, of course, wants to get into that. Oh! oh Battle Royal at the Summer Champions. And do well. Josiah Jean has performed well at the last stand rumble before. And right now, there's some athleticism. Oh. But got caught. Got caught at the last second from Simpson. And you see that acrobatic ninja step strategy that Sensei has. This has been great so far. We have the best seat in the house. This is the best seat in the house, and right now Simsei is feeling himself. But wait a minute, Josiah had a two! Sidekick! Could this be it? One, two, three, and Simsei fails to launch! Here is your winner! The Rocket! Josiah John! Big, big win, heading into Summer Champions. Being able to capture a second victory over Sensei amidst adversity just goes to show how badly Josiah wants to make sure that this slump is over as he looks towards the Summer Champions 10. Will he be the king of the summer? Josiah Jean is on his way.